Hello, welcome to the Fudge Kitchen in York. Today we're going to make some fudge with our home kit. Um, and it's a very special um, demonstration here today because we're going to re cook some fudge. So if you buy fudge from the store here, you have one of these splendid home kits, as you can see here, um, and um, you fancy um, having a bash at making it yourself at home, you can re cook the fudge you bought in the store. So here we go, I'm going to pop this into the pan here, and we're just going to um, work this to melt. So um, basically, this is going to turn into a sort of a of a gooey, goopy, sort of molten liquid, sugary fudge um, substance. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to be pouring it out here on this um, wonderful uh, glass slab here. Um, and we're going to be um, making it um, in basically a scaled down version of what that chap down there is doing. Um, so you can see that that's Sebastian down there. He's um, making the fudge. Um, and then this is going to be sold in the shop. But um, today we're going to be using um, home kits. Welcome back guys, um, this is part two of the fudge making with the home kit. Um, as you can see, uh, the recooked fudge is um, in the um, in our dish here. We've added some cream and water in just to um, give it a little bit of body. And um, what I'm doing here now is I'm just uh, breaking down the little bits of, uh, of fudge that we put in there with this spatula thing here. You can see now that the fudge is really starting to bubble. Um, so um, this is what we're doing here on this hob here. Of course you can use your um, hob in at home. Um, and um, any sort of um, metal dish to, to cook it up in. So um, yeah, it's very it's a very versatile process. So you know you can um, add in anything you like really. You know, add in a bit of chocolate now if you like, or uh, or anything just to sort of spice it up a bit. But obviously here now you can see this into a lovely beige colour. Um, lots of uh, it's a toffee floating around. Just mixing this all together here now. And um, very very soon um, we are going to um, uh, pour it out the marble slab. So I'm just going to check the temperature here with the uh, sugar thermometer that we're is in your home kit. I'm just going to pop this in here and uh, check the temperature. So um, that now is it's not very hot at the minute. I'm going to give it a little bit longer here. Um, but um, as you can see, it's got a nice, really rich colour there. So um, a few, few lumps put there will boil out in a few seconds. So um, yeah, that's um, just going to take that out for now because that's not quite ready yet. But um, yeah, we're just going to uh, cook this up a little bit more here. Keep breaking down those um, larger pieces of food. Um, this is pouring of the fudge. There you go. There you go. Got a nice runny texture to it there. What we're going to do is we're just going to wait for this to set now on the on the um, slab there. And um, what we're going to do is then we're going to use the spatulas in your home kit to. Um, uh, make the fudge, see, as you can see there, um, and um, it's going to have a nice, lovely, creamy texture to it as, uh, as the fudge in store, as I'm sure you've tasted. So, um, yep, if, um, join me in the next part, and we'll be, we'll be making um, that lovely pool of fudge there. Hello again, guys. Um, so, our fudge has been sitting here for about 10 minutes now. What we're going to do is we're going to put a little um, in the fudge, as you can see, it's taking around about five six seconds to um, hold the pan. So that means it's time to cream it. So um, I take one of these spatulas here that you found in the home kit, and we are going to start. So what I'm doing here is I'm just folding the fudge over itself here, making um, making it thicker and thicker, as you can see here, just giving it a nice sort of like um, thick texture here. So just folding it in over itself, and as you can see, it's starting to um, start to give way here. Just um, so you're just going up and down around each side. And then um, you can see it's in a nice little puddle in the middle here. Um, so there we go. Falling over and over, you can see it getting thicker now. And um, just going to scrape up all these bits here. Try and keep it sort of in the centre. That's sort of what we want. Um, so just keep it, keep folding it over and over. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Just over itself. Now, now we're on the other side in a second. There we go. I'm going to spread it on top. I'm going to clean up all these bits here now. Along that side, all these bits here. There we go. Just repeat the same action. Keep folding it over. Got a really nice 
fit the texture to it here, you see. So, and then just scrape the excess on top there, just to keep it nice and thick. Only one sort of big tile. There we go. So, um, got a nice big thick puddle there. Scrape up all these bits at the side here. Don't want any sugar around the outside. Want it all in the centre. That's where we go for there. So just keep it nice and tiny in the middle. There we go. And just uh, repeat the same action, just until it's sort of a little bit like a baguette shape. That's what we're sort of going for. Going continental today. A little, um, little bit of French in the fudge. That's what we like. So there we go. On this side, just keep folding it over and. Um, Keep it nice and thick there. As you can see, that's starting to set now. Really nice and thick there. Really nice and thick. Keep it, keep it nice and tidy on the outside. Okay. Just repeat the same action. Now that is really starting to thicken up. Can you see? It's um, taking longer and longer to spread out. So that the fudge is telling me it's time. It's almost time to begin the final action when we will begin to fold the fudge over and make it ready for eating. Yeah, if you want it. So there we go.